six months after scandal rocked her personal life and brought to an end one of America's most storied military careers, Paula Broadwell is trying to rebuild. The mission today, the prayer breakfast today, was to seek about redemption and slowing down in life and finding purpose. Ahead of the National Day of Prayer, Broadwell sat nearly anonymous among 2,000 of Charlotte's faithful. She listened to a message about God, family, and reflection from the state's Commerce Secretary. It really touched my heart. I've made some mistakes in the past, but I'm trying to look forward with my family. Tuesday's breakfast drew many of the state's political leaders. Broadwell says she's been a longtime supporter of the YMCA and the services it provides. And she says the breakfast theme of prayer is a familiar part of her own life. I grew up in a strong uh, faith-based family, and I think I uh, have sought to return to those roots for strength for my family, for myself, to protect our children, and um, to forgive others and, and move on and, and face forward. She made no mention of the events of late 2012 that drew the eyes of the nation to her Dilworth door, or of General David Petraeus, the married war hero and then CIA director with whom her affair rocked Washington's political elite. You know, I'm not seeking publicity. Um, I'm seeking meaningful work. In the time since the scandal has died down, Broadwell says she's tried to refocus on those closest to her. First and foremost, I've been focusing on my family, and um, and that, again, is uh, this whole breakfast is a reminder of what should be first in one's life, and uh, I'm thankful to have that reminder. And trying to serve the Charlotte community, she's called home for years. I've been involved in a number of wounded warrior organizations and veteran support initiatives in our community, and I'm back to work on my doctoral uh, pursuits. Broadwell says the message of Monday's breakfast and the goals of the YMCA resonate with her deeply as she tries to move past the time in her life that changed it forever. And at the end of the day, I count my blessings um, being in this wonderful country and our wonderful community and having such a wonderful family and opportunities and the opportunity to rebuild. Leslie Mays, News 14, Carolina.